Hello everyone and welcome back to Algebra 1. Today we are continuing with concept number 4 which was on graphing a function rule. So today we're going to learn the part where we learn how to find our points that we will be graphing with a table. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Now um, when you get an equation like this you're usually going to see it like this. You're going to get values for x, you're going to get an equation for y so you can solve for y, and whatever you get for y, you're going to put what you get for x and y right here. Okay? So let me walk you through it step by step. First, our values for x. Our values for x are negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Now for y, we have an equation which is negative 2x plus 1 equals what y is going to be. So that means that we have to plug it all in to be able to get our value for y. Let's start with negative 1, which is our first value for x. We're going to go with y, which we don't know what it is yet, equals negative 2 times, in this case, negative 1 plus 1. Now, when we multiply negative 2 and negative 1, we come out with a positive 2. Because when you multiply a negative and a negative, you get a positive. And 2 times 1 equals 2. So, we are left with 2, positive 2, plus 1. And that we know equals 3. So, our value for y, in this case, is 3. Now, what do we do in this part of the graph? We know our value for x is negative 1, and now we know that our value for y is 3. And that is what that's going to look like, okay? Let's go on with our next value for x, following the same steps. We have y equals negative 2 times, in this case, 0 plus 1. Now, negative 2 times 0 equals 0. Why? Because anything times 0 equals 0. So 0 plus 1 obviously is 1. So here our value for y is going to equal 1. So again, we know our value for x is 0, so we write it first. And our value for y is 1. Okay? Now we follow through with the 1, negative 2 times 1 plus 1, okay? Negative 2 times 1. Our answer is going to be negative 2 this time because when you multiply a negative and a positive, your answer is negative. So, 2 times 1 is also 2. So, we're left with negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 leaves us with a negative 1. Therefore, we are left with 1 for x and negative 1 for y. Now, let's do our last value for x, which is in this case 2. We have y equals negative 2 times, in this case, 2 plus 1. 2 times 2 equals 4. Our answer is again negative because you're multiplying a positive and a negative number. So we have negative 4 plus 1. Now, that leaves us with a negative 3. And then again, we write our answers right here. We have x, we have 2 for x, and we have negative 3 for y. And these are our points that we will be graphing. But for now, this is what we're learning. Let's get into your assignment for today. Now, for your assignment today, I'm going to give you these values for x, and I want you to do the same thing that I just did with the previous example. I want you to find the values for y by using this equation and plugging in whatever value you have for x in this place, okay? Now, remember to write out your answers in the correct order, which is x first, then y. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate and ask. Uh, next class, we will be learning how to graph, so that is exciting. And 
I hope to be hearing back from everyone very, very soon, and I hope you all have a very wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.